If you like extraction shooters, you need to start following these three extraction shooters that are hoping to come in 2024. How's it going everybody? My name is Magneti. Welcome to the Mothership where I find and test FPS games for modern classic gamers. So let's talk about the three extraction shooters that I'm keeping my eye on for 2024 and that's going to be Marathon, Ascendant Infinity, and Arc Raiders. Now you're probably thinking I'm crazy for bringing all three of those up right away because now you're just going to click away and go research it yourself. That's totally fine. That's exactly what this video is for. I want this video to be as brief as possible. This is not an in-depth video. This is going to be a very brief overview of why I think you should pay attention to these three games specifically out of all the extraction shooters in development right now. Also, I'm going to leave tons of links in the description for you to do your own research or look at my sources and determine your own opinion about these games. So let's start with Marathon. So what is it? What is Marathon? Marathon is Bungie's Halo meets Destiny extraction shooter. The trailer is absolutely epic, totally hyped for this game. Bungie does mention a handful of unique features to extraction shooter genre in general that they're adding, such as a scoreboard and and world discovery, just to mention a couple of things. And overall, this game looks really sick. There's a lot of character customization that I'm excited for as well that they've talked about. So why should you pay attention to Marathon? If you're not a bungee slut like me, you'll probably wonder why you should be sticking eyeballs on this game. And for me, I would say it's because of the unique game style. And honestly, that's my reasoning for all three of these games. But it's not just that. It's also the fact that this game and another in this list, it involves you in the story of the game and it's not just an extraction shooter. It seems like there's going to be a background to the game for a story and what it is. So quickly moving forward into Ascendant Infinity, previously known as Ascendant. What is it? It's an indie studio's take on a unique extraction shooter similar looking to The Cycle. Now, don't let that bog you down. I know The Cycle is pretty much dead at this point, but it does look similar to The Cycle, and that's mostly just the art style. The combat doesn't quite look the same. There's not much story involved in this game, but I do want to get into why I think you should pay attention to this game. Now, the main reason that Ascendant Infinity stuck out to me was, again, because of the unique gameplay style. All three games that I'm talking about here are going to have a very unique style. So within Ascendant Infinity is a three tier ring style map. So there's an outer ring, a middle ring and an inner ring or circle, I guess, at that point, the bullseye. Now, the outer ring is going to be more foresty. The middle ring is kind of they call it no man's land or something along those lines where there's not much of anything there. And then in the center is where you're going to find as what they literally call resources that you need to harvest and bring back to base. I think that this is a very unique approach to an extraction shooter as a whole, in my opinion. And then one other thing about Ascendant Infinity is that the hub, I guess we can call it, it seems to be extremely intuitive. If you ever played the Cycle Frontier, it looks like they're trying to mock that, except 10 times like 10, at least. This hub is going to have all kinds of different interactions and things to do in it so that you have a game within a game almost, which I find to be awesome. Now, the only other thing I want to mention about Ascendant Infinity is that as of the time of recording this video, the devs are planning to do an alpha playtest in September. So if you want to try that out, make sure you keep an eye out for that. So shifting over to my personally most anticipated extraction shooter, Arc Raiders. The moment I saw this game trailer, I was beyond hyped. I just I saw the trailer and I like shit bricks. OK, this game looks absolutely incredible and I'm very excited. So what is Arc Raiders? It's almost like a battlefield meets Call of Duty with an alien robot invasion and if you know anything about me I love aliens and if you don't love the sound of a Call of Duty meets Battlefield plus alien robot invasion personally I would think you're crazy that's okay though anyways this is developed and published by Embark Studios and I'm sure once this game finally releases it will be a good one so why do I think you should pay attention to this game while all three of these games that I've mentioned have a very heavy sci-fi aspect to them they're all very unique looking and sounding in their own ways and again if an alien robot invasion mixed with an Extraction shooter isn't enough to at least nab your attention for a second, then I honestly don't know what to tell you because this game just looks incredible. So the overall objective for this one is playing as a raider. You must garner resources for the colony, I guess you could call it, to survive the robot alien invasion. And again, this game just looks absolutely incredible. And I think the uniqueness of all three of these games is the biggest reason you should pay attention to all of these games. My last thing to mention about Arc Raiders is that the Steam Store has a request to playtest access and I would suggest that you check that off your to-do list right now if you're interested in Arc Raiders. If you want an in-depth video on 
any of these games, check out the description below where I've listed some videos from other creators that do a great job at diving into these games specifically. If you want to hear from me specifically, let me know down in the comments below, and I will gladly make a deeper video on any one of these games, so just go ahead and comment down below if you want to see that. Other than that, stay tuned for more gaming content, and we'll talk again real soon. Peace!